So now let's look at how to create a landing page on Active Campaign. So to create a landing page, let's click on website on the left side menu. And now we're going to switch from forms to pages. Then let's click on create a new page then click add new page and then here you have a lot of different templates for all kinds of different landing pages or you can also just start with a blank template now in this example i'm just going to choose one of the templates so for example this asset download one this is a good template for people who want to basically give away a lead magnet for the contact so an ebook a checklist or something like that so let's click on use this template then let's name this page. So let's say we're giving away a checklist. So I just named this checklist download landing page and click on save. And this takes us inside of the website or landing page builder. This is kind of very similar compared to other website builders if you've used some of them before. So basically you have a preview of everything here in the center. Then on the right side, you have different blocks and elements you can basically add to your website. And here on the top, you can switch from desktop view to mobile view as well. If you get a lot of traffic from mobile, you definitely want to optimize your site for mobile as well. So let's just switch back to desktop. Then here on theme, you can change all the colors. So I'm just going to build something very simple. So I'm just going to first of all delete everything that I don't need. I'm just going to hit the trash icon here for everything I don't need. So I'm just going to do something very simple for the sake of this tutorial. I'm also going to delete the logo and actually this entire area. And I'm going to leave this uh, picture here. So obviously you want to add a mock-up or whatever you're, you're using, like a picture of what you're giving away or what your landing page is about. You just click on it, click on replace here and then upload um, whatever image you want to use. So I'm just going to change this text here to let's say um, increase here you want to obviously enter the main benefit of whatever your landing page is about so what you're giving away so let's say increase your sales by I don't know 312 percent in one month implementing my optimization optimization checklist and that's going to be the title and now on this side here we're going to add a form so the form is what people will be using to type in their information so we're going to click on inline form here and we're actually going to drag this to this side here and then we can either use a form that we've already built so uh, we've already have this form built here so i could just use that or we can build a new form so let's click on build a new form and then we're going to give that form a name let's say landing page form and whenever somebody signs up to this um, for in this form then let's say they will subscribe to the master contact list let's click on start building and this will take us back to the form builder that I've already showed you how to customize your form to make it look exactly how you want it to look like. Now, what I want to mention here is that if you're using a landing page, a lot of the times you want people to get to the next page once they enter their details. So, for example, if you're saying, um, give me your email address to see this video, then after they enter the email address, then they will get to the page where they can see the video or you will send them the video, however you want to do it. Um, but you want to make sure to go to options. And then if you want to send them to a specific page, you want to not just show a thank you message when they sign up, you want to probably um, send them to a specific URL. So you want to type in that URL here, which is going to be the second step of your funnel. So after the landing page. Now you can also build your next step here on active campaign. And then you can just type uh, come later on back to this form and put in the URL of that second page into this field. And then whenever they sign up on your landing page, they will get to the second page, which you can build after that. So let's just type in Google just uh, because I don't really have that page yet. And then let's click on add to your page. And this will add the new form to our page. 
Uh, let's just delete this one as well. So now we have a very simple landing page where we just have one sentence, why they should sign up, an image of what we're giving away, and then the form where they can sign up. So now let's click on publish page here on the top right. And this will give us the URL that we that our landing page will be on. We can also use our own domain if we have one, and then we can have that landing page under our own domain. But let's now publish it under this um, active campaign domain, click on publish. And now we can click on view live here and on the top right to check if our landing page works. So let's just type in a name and an email example to at gmail.com, click on submit. And now, as you can see, we get redirected to Google because that's the URL that we've typed in for the on submit option. So let's go back, go to contacts. And now we can see Simon with example two at gmail.com is in our contact. So the landing page works, but now we can actually go back to website and go to pages. And now we can create the second page of the funnel. So we can click on add a new page and then maybe we can go we can use this template here, asset download two. use this template. Then let's say this is the funnel step two. click on save. Then we obviously wanna customize this second page as well. Once it's done, let's click on publish page here on the top right and just publish it again on the active campaign domain. Let's click publish. And now let's connect these two pages that we've created. So let's go back to pages here. And then here we can see the first page, the checklist download landing page, and then the funnel step two. Now let's go to this arrow, go to get URL and copy this URL. And now we wanna um, have everybody who signs up on this page get redirected to the second step of the funnel. So we have to go to forms because people type in their, their information on the form. And I've used this one, landing page form two. So let's click on edit here. And then let's go to options. And we're gonna change this uh, on submit URL to the one we have just copied before. We're just gonna paste it in, click on integrate, save and exit. So now when we go back to pages and then visit the landing page here, now let's just type in something random and click on submit. And now as you can see, we get taken to the second page that we've created before, which is the second step of the funnel. Now, for those of you who want to connect your custom domain to your landing page, I'm gonna leave a link with some instructions on how to do that in the video description below. And I believe you also need to be on the Active Campaign Plus plan so that you're able to connect your own custom domain to your pages. So now let's